Contest tonight at 63 kilos. We have LJ Adams versus Helena Martin. LJ Adams fighting out of Leicester Shoot Fighters. Helena fighting out of Combat Company. So LJ Zena Adams uh, with the height advantage with the white and black shorts on. Instigating a clinch there up against the cage. She looks like a strong athletic girl, LJ Adams. Yeah, definitely. She's got Helena pinned against the cage here. Uh, working some strikes. Nice underhook there. This is, this seems to be quite um, a common position for the Leicester Shoot Fighters tonight. Yeah, they're using a lot of the uh, the uh, clinch and the, the knees. And uh, she's got her hips forward nicely. She was using her head as well to, uh, yeah, to keep the control against the cage. Uh, yeah. Very, very good. It's putting Helena off quite badly. Putting her in a position where she can't really do much. I think a lot of this can, um, it shows that uh, Leicester Shoe Fighters having a gym in their cage, uh, having a cage in their gym, sorry, um, is a big advantage. Oh, absolutely, I think it is a big advantage to get, uh, get used to, because uh, like in boxing you have your ring craft in, uh, in the uh, MMA you've got your cage craft. Yeah, working against the cage is very different to working on the open mat. Both looking to strike uh, a lot here. Yep. Held him out, coming forward um, strong. There's a decent side to side movement. I think she's feeling that's what she's having to do to. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, I think this is where she doesn't want to be. She doesn't want to have a back against the cage. Uh, this is where uh, Zena is definitely. Uh, Got the advantage. I think all the lesser two fighters, uh, fighters seem to um, definitely have the strength in this position over every opponent tonight. We've seen that they have. Yeah, like I say, having having um, the cage fencing in the gym, having a cage in the gym, it, it does give you that advantage. You can work those those techniques. Good exchange of kicks there. Yeah. And then look out with a clinch against her, uh, where I can hear the corner of Leicester Shoot Fighters uh, telling Zena to push her against the cage, so that obviously is part of the game plan. So far, the entire fight's been on the feet. Neither look to go for the takedown, both working on the standing and in the clinch. Yeah, both look um, very composed. Both debuting fighters as well. Yeah. Coming to the last 10 seconds of the Kicking first round. My opinion, uh, LJ Adams has uh, definitely dominated this round. Yeah, the view that worked very, very good first round. I think the difference being, as we've said again, the, the work against the side of the cage. But Helena Martin showing uh, she's definitely still in it. She's uh, looks strong coming forward with shots. She just needs to circle off and uh, keep her back away from that cage side. 
Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think uh, the corner man with the, uh, the nice hair will be telling that. So Levo giving advice to Zena in the corner. Helena from uh, Combat Company in London. She has a kickboxing fighting background. According to her interview. Coming out for the second round then, we'll see if uh, either of them change the game plan or stick to the same thing. Helena comes it. out southpaw for the second round. With a side kick. And another one that's going to get taken down, I think. Oh no, oh. nice recovery there. Double underhooks and against the cage. From Zena and uh, now working from that high underhook, she's got wrist control, I think, on the right, on a double underhooks. I think LJ Adams yeah, looks like the uh, stronger of the two to me. She seems to have a definite advantage in strength. I think that's definitely technique as well. The um, She's using those underhooks well. Corner shouting for it to stomp. Yeah. The center, let's see if there's going to be some more side kicks or. Uh, at, times, at times in the clinch, she looks like she can uh, manhandle Helena a little. Or woman handle her. Side there landed to the face, but um, didn't bother Zeno at all. Looked like it happened again there, I'd say. Referee having a few harsh words. Yeah, I think if um, if that happens again, it, it's definitely going to be a point deduction. I don't think it's intentional. I think when you when you throw in punches at the same time, that the hands can come off the other fighters and and go into the face. It was no big thing. Zena didn't complain, but it, the rules are the rules. Still, the entire fight fought on the feet. Both girls seem uh, pretty fresh still. Yeah, I think um, Zena should be coming forward a little bit more, I don't know now. She's turned onto the cage now. That, this is a lot better position for her. If she wants to win the fight, I think this is where she's going to do it. She's this definitely got the advantage against the cage. Yeah, this takes Helena out of her comfort zone, which is obviously the kickboxing side of things, moving around and exactly, scoring yeah. points. That was a little high again with um, with a strike. Helena looked like she was um, looking for a takedown for a second there. Even the crowd shouting out, push her against the cage. I think uh, they're all looking for LJ to push her against the cage and uh, fire these knees in. As it is with the uh, striking in centre of the cage. Outside she had trip there, double hooks and outside trip straight into that. Was very good. That was a good takedown. Yeah, good technique on that takedown. And let's see what the submission skills are like from LJ. So to be locking that arm up. Oh, a nice uh, a back punch to the uh, to the leg. Strike into the chest and arms. She's getting those hips forward, lock the arms, but she's a little close to the cage here, maybe, on the end of the round. That was a closer round on there, but I think uh, another one for LJ. I definitely agree with that. I think uh, the takedown at the end clinched it. Yeah, without a doubt. I think um, Helen's biggest strengths are in a kickboxing, a side side movement, and a, a kicks from range, um, and a decent punching. But I think uh, with LJ, she, she's best when she. Pins Helen against the cage and uh, and looks for those knees and obviously she's got decent takedowns and uh, yeah she had very very good control from um, the double underhooks used it to pin her against the cage also used it for an outside trip takedown I think Levo will probably be telling her to do the same again take her against the cage or use the double underhooks to it, get control from top exactly play to your strengths and your opponent's weaknesses yep. so third and final round. Last round of the amateurs for tonight. LJ Adams versus Helena Martin. 
So let's see where this goes for the uh, third and final round. Front kick from Hill and up. It should open up with some nice kicks and uh, this could be a takedown here. Well recovered well. But again against the cage, the head under the chin there. This is good control. The taller fighter deliberately getting a head low and under the chin. Now Helena throwing for some uh, knees of her own from with the back to the cage, but they, they don't have the same effect. She's got a body lock now on uh, pulling for the underhooks there from LJ. Back to the centre of the cage. Oh, double underhooks. Uh, this is a strong position for LJ. She looks good from here. Yeah, back to the side of the cage and looking to fire the knees again. But I think Helen Helen's, um, doing well. she's improved with the defences to this. I think she started to um, suss what's going on. Looking for the foot stamps there as well. Yeah, very good. Nice change up. Again, LJ backs off. Not having as much success against the cage there as uh, she was. I think Helen is kind of reading what she's doing a little bit. Managing to counter a bit. Yeah, I think she's clicking out. I think uh, Helen needs to be a bit busy from a bit busy in the side to side movement and the kicks and the, and the punching. Trying to get some points back. LJ listen to the uh, very good advice of Level from the corner. I think she might uh, think she's got this fight in the bag, she's eased off the pace a little. And catches the leg again, double under hooks into the cage. Now she, she needs to work here, she still needs to, she, she yeah. may be two rounds up, but it'd be nice to see it working on good foot stomps. Yeah, I think uh, some good knees and oh, she nice to she take down the maybe. Back? This would oh. secure a good win for her, some good knees to the thighs there. Yeah, she's controlling it. She's controlling this fight now. Helen's gonna have to pull something, uh, something really good out to catch the judges' eye and win this. I think. But she's still giving it, her, giving it her all. Picking some good punches it's, as well. It's by no shot. means a one-sided fight. You can see the kickboxing backgrounds. Yeah, I think this experience will be good for both fighters. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, both of them have performed very well. And ten yeah. seconds left. Yeah, this is rival. Oh, a, big fire finish from so both, a big finish from both of the fires here. Excellent fight. Well done to both girls there. A brilliant finish to the, uh, the amateur fights of tonight. And over to uh, Andy Sledge for the official decision.